Okay, this is the fuel pump that I took out of that Beetle um, 1.8 turbo. It, it was intermittently sticking, and then I had to tap on the gas tank. But the waveform that I showed on the on my last video, I had captured the before and after at different time settings. Uh, so now I'm on the same scale as when I tested the new pump. Obviously, there's no fuel in here, so it will run a little bit quicker. But the waveform should still be similar because the brushes and etc. They don't. There is no change in that except for RPM. So I'm just going to run this thing. You'll hear it buzzing, and then we'll see the waveform. And um, what I'll do is also compare it. Uh, I have a software that I'll show this on the PC. So I'll show this with the glasses showing the scanner as well as the computer file and uh, which will be more detailed clearer because uh, I'm never sure of the glare here when I'm recording live so anyways um, amp probes already been zeroed uh, I'm going to touch this here pump is running and you can see how irregular the um, the waveform is and how low uh, it's only up to about three amps and it and here you can see almost down to zero so it is basically on its way out it is still working again once you um, tap on the gas tank it spins uh, but it's totally shot well again not totally shot but you can see uh, it's actually even missing humps I think that's a missing hump here um, so anyways I'm just gonna save this thing uh, so that I do have the correct file on waveform on file save it and it was a 2002 I think 2002 fuel pump bad okay here's the waveform that I just took uh, of the fuel pump running with no fuel uh, 10 millisecond screen here um, if I zoom out a little bit you'll see the peaks are a little bit more exaggerated now and the valleys um, and you can see the repetition of the pattern let's move this over out of the way so you can see the repetition and that basically shows you one full rotation of the pump each time um, but when zooming back in you can see obviously see more detail you can see the low spots and the high spots and the missing humps so then um, this here, let me just go bigger, this was the initial um, capture that I took of the fuel pump while it was still in the vehicle. Now if you compare this, this, this screen captures at 100 milliseconds so you see the whole uh, the pattern repeat 10 times here uh, as opposed to this one here that was captured at uh, 10 milliseconds. Let me just move that. Um, but again if I were to zoom out a little bit you can see the the pattern repeating and it is pretty much the same let's just go out some more um, and the reason that this pattern on the left now is sitting lower uh, we got a maximum of three amps and as low as zero whereas this one on the right um, is about a nine amp peak and down to about three amps uh, so you have to keep in mind that this waveform here was in the vehicle with gasoline so the pump has to physically push gas uh, and that creates resistance the pump doesn't want to rotate so it takes more current more amperage to turn that pump whereas this one here it was tested outside of the vehicle there is no uh, mechanical effort needed aside from spinning the pump it's not pushing fuel so it's it takes less amperage to turn this pump um, and that explains why the 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 pattern on the right here is is sitting higher compared to the pattern on this side which is lower uh, and then we have the new pump as well this is the new pump here and we can zoom in or out as well on this one um, let's go to about four so that's about 40 milliseconds there's 80 milliseconds and so if you compare the 80 millisecond screen here with the 80 here you can see the nice even fairly even um, current draw of 7 peak and 5 uh, 7 amps peak and 5 amps is uh, down on the valleys um, and um, uh, the peaks and valleys are all nice and even 
um, uh, which obviously suggests that all the brushes and everything is nice and uh, have good contact. Everything's nice and even. Whereas on this one, you can see the low spots. And this is problems with individual brush contact areas uh, on the commutator bars. So good and bad. Sorry, good uh, waveform here. This is the bad waveform. Uh, bad in terms of yes, the pump was still spinning. Uh, but like I said, in order for me to get that pump going, I had to tap on the bottom of the gas tank because the, the pump was sticking. It wasn't able to start to move on its own uh, because the brushes had a bad contact on the commutator bars um, or simply because of the, the, the bad c c um, contact between the brushes and commutator bars in terms of resistance, physically resistance, having resistance, not wanting to turn. Um, uh, one of these days I'll take one of those pumps apart and you can see what I'm talking about in terms of the brushes making bad contact uh, to the point where the actual uh, copper is worn down so there's no physical uh, place for electricity to move and then you can also have fuel pumps where the connect the contacts are burnt and corroded um, where the electric electricity just can't go because of the burnt uh, contacts uh, so yeah, we definitely made a good call in replacing this pump here uh, And as you can see This is what a good pattern should look like Thanks for watching